What's up guys, my name is Dat, I'm with Accelerate Capital, and today on Who's Your Agent, we have the one and only... Katie the Barracuda Bayless. Just kidding, cut, 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 Wait, cut. Barracuda? Why, why did they call you the Barracuda? People call me Barracuda. You know, my clients, they know that I'm really fierce um, in negotiating, and it's partly because uh, as an attorney, I do have a lot of negotiating skills, and I'm able to get right. homes at great prices. I'm also very in tune with people's emotions, and so I'm able to kind of, it's called like emotional intelligence, and I can kind of feel and see where they're gonna go um, and that kind of gauges me about how far I can negotiate a price for my buyers or right. for my sellers right. so that's why they call me the Barracuda Wow <laughs> so Katie most people know you for your artistry and your cosmetic line how do you get your jumpstart into real estate you know that's actually an interesting question it's actually twofold number one is I first um, unfortunately had a really bad experience on my first home that I purchased. Um, I ended up learning that I overpaid for it based on what my neighbors had told me for um, the comparables and you know how much they had purchased their home for. Uh -huh. um, and then, you know, then I had an experience on my second home. I'm like, wow, this is an excellent agent. I love her. So I thought, wow, you know, you could definitely see the difference between um, a really awesome agent right. and it really just wanted me, it really inspired me to to think about getting into real estate. But also secondly, you know, I graduated from law school and I thought, well, now that I have my JD, which is my Juris Doctorate, um, you know, you can also get your broker's license as well. Right. So I thought, well, you know, I'll just do it just in case. You know, ends up being that I got my license and then, uh, you know, my husband is really into flipping homes and so we kind of got our start. Power team right there. Yeah. I like that. <laughs> In California, there's a lot of real estate agents. What separates you from the rest? Well, I'm also, um, in addition to being a broker, I'm also an attorney. So I always tell my clients it's like a twofer, you know? Mm -hmm. It's like you go to Disneyland and then you get your California Adventure right. at the same time. So not only are you getting a broker, but you're also getting an attorney. Mm -hmm. And for real estate transactions, most of it, or I would say all of it, is actually um, legal based. Right. It's actually a contract that's binding. And so I think as an attorney, we try to educate and inform our buyers of exactly what they do, what they're signing, what they're getting involved mm -hmm. in. And so I think that's really important. Also, you know, I know home is very, very important. Right. And so my goal is to not only just, you know, it's not about making a sale for me, it's a forever friendship. So Absolutely. usually my clients and I try to, you know, keep a relationship um, long term. And mm -hmm. I think that's one of the benefits of doing the work that I do in real estate and that's why I really enjoy it. So I know that you're involved in a lot of uh, successful businesses. Do you have any advice for our viewers? You know, that's a really great question. I get that pretty often. For me, I think success, you really have to look at it as in, what is it that's ultimately gonna make you happy? Success to me is fulfilling your soul's purpose. And I have a really big, big personality, and over the years, as I've, as I've grown and matured, I've learned to use it as my asset. Absolutely. And also, my other thing is to find what your joy is. So if you have a job that you don't like and you're dreading it, uh, you know, Use your internal GPS to kind of help you find the job that you do like. I mean, let's be real, you're gonna have a job that you may have some tough times and you might not enjoy going into work, mm -hmm. but um, you know, that's gonna happen. But you know, if you're really, really not wanting to get out of bed and you're really sad about it, then you might wanna rethink about where you're going, what's your direction. Also, I think that um, ultimately we have our choice in how we wanna make our life. Correct. We are responsible for um, the success or to build a life that we dream about. Absolutely. And so for everyone who's like watching, I really want you to know that you got to take some risks in your life in order to really live life. Um, there's a quote that says that if you live life and you've lived it so safe that you haven't even really have experienced life, then there's no point in living. I think that was J.K. Rowling, um, the author of Harry, of Harry Potter. Um, but yeah, so if you can, you know, you gotta take the risk and you're gonna fall and you're gonna fail. And that's a part of life. That's what makes it so exciting. And so with me, I've fallen, you know, plenty of times and it's been tough to get up. But you know, it's really built um, my character and it's what I call emotional maturity. And I think that with through that, it's the seasons I've learned are short. So when you're in a tough season, just know that there's a brighter season ahead. Absolutely. And that's what I look forward to. It's like, you know, I like all these challenges. Um, and ultimately, it's, it brings me to where I wanted to be and who I want to be and where I, what I want to do with my life. If you're looking to buy, invest, or own in real estate, how would they contact you, Katie? They can contact me right below. All my information's down there. 
awesome. And if you're looking to buy, invest, refinance, or just simply looking for a second opinion, feel free to contact me with my contact information below. My team and I, we look forward to having the opportunity to assist you and also earning your business as well.